Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we will design the logic behind this PMI calculator application. So what we need to do now is that we basically need to go ahead and uh, get a reference to these particular edit text and the text view inside the Java code right here. So we already have this button click method. So we are going to use the same method and one thing which you do need to make sure is that to this particular button you need to add the on click basically whenever we click this button the code inside this button click method is going to get executed so i'm going to go into this button tag and i'm going to type in on click is equal to button clicked so basically when the user clicks this button the code inside this is going to get executed so inside this code the main intent is to basically get the text from these two edit text that is the weight and height and once we have the weight and height we could go ahead and calculate the BMI so what we will do is that first we will get a reference to both of the edit text so we type edit text and let's name this edit text as edit text weight or let's say we get the height first so that is going to be edit text for height equals and typecast it to edit text and then use the find view by id method so find view by id r dot id dot the user's height so we get the user's height from here then let's get the user's weight so that is going to be edit text edit text that is going to be weight equals and typecast it by using edit text then type in find view by id r dot id dot and the user's weight so once you get the reference to both the weight and height the next thing which you need to do is that you also need to get a reference to the text view which is this text view right here and what you could do is that to get the reference to this text view you type in text view and let's name this thing as text view result as this is going to display the result this equals text view and find view by id r dot id dot and the id of that particular text view is user bmi so you simply reference that over here so once we have reference to each of these things the next thing which you could do is that you could go ahead and get the entered value by the user so the first thing which you need to have is that you do need to have variables in place to basically get those values. So what you do is that you create variables of the type double. So let me just type double. And the first thing which we get is that we get the height. So we type height equals and we get the height from this particular edit text that is edit text height. So we type edit text height dot get text dot to string. Now one thing to note here is that the value which we get from this particular code which is this code right here is going to be a string value and this variable right here is a double variable so what you need to do now is that you do need to convert the string value into double so for that purpose we will cut this code and type in double dot parse double so parse double is actually a method which basically converts any value to a double value so once you pass this uh, previous code to this particular method which is the parse double method it's actually going to pass the result to a double value which is later going to be stored in the height variable and the same thing is applicable for the weight as well so you type double weight and that is going to be double sorry that is going to be double dot pass double and inside here we will have edit text weight dot get text dot to string okay so once we have the height and weight values we could now go ahead and calculate the BMI so you could type in double BMI equals and the formula for BMI is weight divided by height squared so we will type in weight here divided by height into height so once this thing is done we are pretty much good to go now the only thing which you need to do is that you basically need to attach this value to the text view which is the text view result so what we do is that we type in text view result dot set text and now we need to set the text 
to the BMI value but the thing is that the BMI value is actually present in a form of a double so you do need to convert that double into a string so you type double dot to string and in here you could pass in the value of BMI so we'll type in BMI over here and we are basically good to go so once this thing is done let me check the layout once and we have added the button click on click as well so we are basically good to go and you could basically go ahead and change the text to let's say BMI and once this thing is done you're pretty much good to go so let me just save this code and run this app on my device and check how this thing actually works so I'm going to save the code and run this application on my device and see how it works so as you could see the application is up and running on my device and let me enter my weight which is 75 and let's say my height is 2 meters so you, you do need to make sure that you have to enter the height in meters and the weight in kilograms so when I hit calculate BMI as you could see my BMI comes around 18.75 which appears to be correct so we have successfully built the BMI calculator so that's it for this lecture and I hope you guys were able to understand how we build this BMI calculator in Android. So what you could do is that you could make the layout better than what I have done over here and the main reason for not designing the layout in a better way is because I just wanted to give you a brief idea about how a simple app can be built in Android and to better design these layouts what we have to do is that we have to learn about the different types of layout in the Android in Android so in the next lecture what we will do is that we will start learning about the different types of layout and how they could be used to design our application in a much more better way so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time thank you